uh good evening everyone this is shiva from soundbox education and design services so welcome back everyone to today's session so today we are going to discuss about grounding of irrigation controller and uh, decoder system uh, hope you will enjoy this topic and if you have any doubts you can ask me in time as always so let's get into the topic first so i would like to start with basic concept of electricity because uh, it will give you uh, some basic visual experience so how this helps to uh, maintain the electricity within this controller okay so generally electrons flows from the negative terminal to positive terminal why because uh, copper is generally copper generally has a lot of free electrons right okay so due to that this is negative charge so electrons are negative charge so due to that they repel each other so when they repel each other they start to move from the same to positive end so due to that uh whenever the electron starts to flow from to this area to uh, positive terminal it generally generates electricity that's how this bulk flows so we you can assume bulk or any other electrical appliances so i'm just uh, giving you a few example i'm just giving you as an example so you can connect uh, anything you can assume this as a solar wall or anything so this is the same scenario with every everything so whenever uh the electron flows through this bulb it actually generates electricity because the electron starts to running from this end to this end so this is uh, how then electricity produces so and let me change to laser pointer yeah to the bulb from the battery to the bulb is called the hot wire and from the bulb to the battery is called the neutral wire because this is the wire which sends the electrons to the uh electric bulb and this is the wire which which receives the electrons from the bulb so this is called neutral wire so this is the same conditions with every every electric appliance so i hope you have understood this slide this electrical negative charge repels the electrons so it starts to move around this area so and then it again uh, comes to the first terminal and then again it starts to flow from here to here so this is how the electrical circuit works so next one is this is this is the condition in every home all around the world so we know that this is hot this is neutral or what is this this is ground so what's the function of this so we will see this in the upcoming slides what are the function on the importance of ground wire so as we know this is a transformer this is an you can assume this as a uh, switchboard and this is the electrical appliance so i i, I gave one, i gave this here as a microwave oven so we, we can assume this as a controller as well so okay let's i'm going to discuss about the uh, importance of this ground ground wire so how it will be helpful to us so we know that generally uh, electron uh, current from to the, from the hot wire to the and then it will go through the neutral wire so this is the general principle whenever the air is to uh, operate normally electrical electrical appliance of some but what happens if the wire gets damaged inside the uh electrical appliances so let's assume that we have some damage has occurred to the wire inside the microwave oven so what happens so here comes ground ground wire so what happens in the sense so this is the wire connected to the uh, electricity so whenever we switch on the electricity it starts to uh, flow the electricity through the hot wire and then it comes out through the neutral wire So we know that, but if we, if some day damage has occurred to the uh, appliances, some have, uh, some damage has occurred to the wire, so it will starts to move around the uh, metal cabinet because this is a, this is also a conductor, so this also has low resistivity. So electricity chose to uh, flow through this because it has low electricity compared to this way. So it, it again it starts to move to this. and where now we if we don't have any ground connected to this then we have problem because electricity starts to move all over the area so if you touch this it will surely damage us so that the ground will be very beneficial to us so whenever the electricity starts to move to the this metal cabinet it again chooses the ground to flow come outwards because ground has a very low resistivity compared to this here this metal cabinet which is using metal of pure copper we can very very low resistivity so what else it starts to choose to flow through the ground wire so 
it come if 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 it enters to this this one it again it come to this one and it comes through all oh, comes out through the uh, ground wave so this is how the ground is beneficial to whenever we have some damages uh, to the wire so it it avoids the short circuit and again it will comes to the comes out through the ground wave so i am giving you the full view of what happens outside the uh, microwave because I, as i said as from the controller from the hot wire it will start to move to the ground and then ground it will it again move to the uh, it again joins the neutral area and again it will continue the flow the flow is complete the flow is completed it's a closed set so this is how the electricity flows so from hot wire to the ground wire when the damage happens to the wire from hot wire to the ground wire the electrons move to the ground and then again it joins the neutral wire so this is how but in this condition there is the electron movement is very very faster compared to the neutral wire because we know this in the electrical appliances we have some resistance so the electron starts to move here because it has low resistivity starts to move here and again it moves to this so it's the electron movement is very very fast so the ampere gets increased due to that the breaker circuit it breaks the connection it just we know that trips are in located in our home so it, it automatically gets down due to the uh, large amount of flow of electrons so whenever we have some uh, damages in the wire it automatically gets down it will cut off connection from up the electron because Uh, otherwise it will be a lot of electrical wastage in this condition so that this breaker will help to save the electrical wastage in this uh, in this situation so uh, if you have any doubts in this slide you can ask me and moving back to the next slide so in the previous slide we have a closed connection but in the controller we don't have this connection because we are just placing the earth ground because whenever we have such kind of uh, uh, Why uh, damage to that? If the collector, the connections will not, the electron will not flow again back to the the electron comes back to the earth ground and again it moves to the ground because ground is neutrally charged. Okay, so yeah, electrons are neutrally charged, so it attracts each other. So the electrons moves from the moves to the neutrally charged area. But that we know that ground is very very large, so it accepts how even though it receives a lot of negative electrons from the Uh, wire so that this is how the earth ground is very very beneficial to us it avoids the uh, short circuit in this area so so now in this slide we are going to discuss the real scenario of the uh, controller of the grounding rod in controller so this is we know this is the pedestal mounted controller and we have metal rod and uh, 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 grounding plate as well so how this helps to uh, remove the negative charges from this uh, metal cable so i will give you a few example so in the high lightning area so we know that lightning emits a lot of negative electrons so which actually falls upon the metal cable metal cable is a conductor so it has also like negative electrons so if we don't have any ground when the in the lightning areas the conductors also has negative so the lightning also emits negative so it will generate electricity within that so when we touch this we we will be get damaged because it generates electricity so due to that we are attaching ground wire to this metal cabinet so when we whenever we are whenever we are attaching the ground metal, uh, ground wire to the metal cabinet when during the lightning areas the it emits the negative electrons negative charges and negative charge starts to drain through the uh, ground plate or ground rod because so in some conditions we are using this both because in the high lightning areas there are a lot of negative charges comes down so and in such conditions we can use both so in the low lightning areas we can use anything one so there are some specifications for this is the side view of uh, controller there are some specifications for uh, plate and uh, and uh, ground rod so i will give you uh, explain in the few minutes so as we know this so it is controlled in the ground is connected to the metal cabinet and the electrons are started to drain through the uh, ground plate or uh, ground rod so you can see this we have to use this uh, 68wg wire for the ground wire because it needs to uh, it should not be any resist there's not be any resistance inside this wire so that it will automatically drain towards the ground plate so and yeah there are few specifications here so ground plate should be installed below the 
30 inches between around two and a half feet. So ground should be installed below the two and a half feet from the grade, and it should be filled properly within uh, earth fill contact soil because uh, generally moist soil has a lot of uh, electrical conductivity, so that, that there will be less resistivity. So electron nanoparticles starts to move down from this uh, metal cabinet. And one more thing is this is metal rod here, ground rod. So it should be installed away from the should be installed 10 feet away from the controller because this uh, sphere of influence is up to 10 feet. So we should be installed at least 10 feet away from the controller. Otherwise, again the data starts to move inside the uh, controller. Similarly, we have to install the uh, ground plate 8 feet away from the controller. Otherwise, again it will leave the influence of movement of electrons is up to 8 feet from uh, distance so we have to keep this away from as much as distance so the minimum criteria is 8 feet and we know the length of uh, uh, ground plate is 4 inch cross 8 feet so it should be 4 inch uh, wide and 8 feet uh, long and this as we have discussed this is a 6 AWG solid copper wire because it should not be any uh, resistance survey so that the electron starts to move automatically without any influence if we have some resistance inside the wire then automatically the electrons will not choose this body it will circulate around the within the controller itself so hope you have understood some concept uh, behind the uh, installation of grounding rod for controllers So I am going to discuss about here uh, the decoder system. The decoder system has electronic device all over the uh, landscape area. So we know that. So if it is a large uh, commercial irrigation system, we need to install the uh, this is the uh, uh, dual S search connector or connector. This is developed in the hundred industry. So we need to install for the every thousand feet of the two wire path. Otherwise, the will potentially damage the decoder system. Other, so we need to keep this in mind so like this so this is the dual s decoder it has some uh, two wires red and uh, blue so we should connect this to the uh, uh, two wire path and then again we should connect the rest uh, ground plug to the plate as i discussed this is should be installed below the grade from 36 inches which is around three feet so it should be installed perpendicular to this this wire so that uh, there, is, there will not be any any uh, restriction for the movement of electrons through the uh, through the ground wire similarly we have to install this at the end of the every two wire path we have to install the same search protocol at the end of the every two wire path so this is the end of the two wire so we are we are connecting the du dual yes uh, dual search preventer of hunter industries and then again we are just uh, connected to the two wire path we are connected this ground wire to the uh, metal plate so this is how this uh, we can prevent the we can save the uh, instruments from uh, lightning areas so hope you have learned something about this lightning protection so if you have any doubt regarding this you can ask me it. so thank you for joining today we are sound with irrigation design services thank you bye bye